Welcome back to Bay Sunday. Valentine's Day is just around the corner and wine and romance are the perfect pairing. Here to help us pick just the right ones are Catherine and Craig Hall from Hall and Walt Wines in Napa. Welcome to Bay Sunday. Hi. Great thank to be you. here. Good to have you with us. So tell us a little bit about the winery. It is a very unique one. Tell us how it got started. Well, we started. I'll go first. Yeah. Sure. So, um, so I grew up in the business. My dad was a grower, a wine grape grower. So, uh, we always, I always knew I'd be doing this. Um, and it took a little while. I married Craig, mm -hmm. um, who is a Michigan guy, and not necessarily at the beginning so much into wine. And then we, um, it was really Craig following. I think my passion, which for me is always a real love story about the winery. Right. And, and our main winery is in St. Helena. It used to be the Napa Valley Co-op, so it was high volume, low quality. Now it's low volume, high quality. Mm -hmm. We've totally changed everything. And we've mixed an 1885 restoration of an old building with real modern technology-oriented uh, winemaking and all new uh, facilities and a lot of artwork, which we both collect. So and, it's fun. And tell us a little bit about how technology has changed the game yeah. and changed the industry, because I think that's what makes part of this winery somewhat unique. We do take advantage of technology at every stage. I mean, one of the things uh, we use that's been very effective for us is an optical sorter, which is a computer that sorts the very best grapes that we bring in from the field, and it does it very quickly and with much higher efficiency. Um, we also use our, the tanks in the distiller, in, in the uh, tank room are all very high tech. We te touch high tech and high touch, mm -hmm. and we can control the temperature really accurately. Mm -hmm. and, and technology is teaching us more about what the customer wants, and we try to uh, create a relationship that mm -hmm. is direct and relevant, and we save as much money as we can for the customer by uh, getting wine to them in a convenient and, and uh, fast manner. So we do a lot over the internet. And this winery hasn't been around too long compared to some of the other traditional ones. How many years? Well, we've been around 20 years, but right. it goes fast. In the right. wine business, that's like yesterday. <laughs> right, exactly, because uh, some you know, have been around for hundreds, hundreds of years. Hundreds of years, right? yeah. And we've been very fortunate. Our, our, our business has done well because we've embraced new technology and we've done things that uh, uh, if you were around a long time, you might not think of doing it. Right. And in those 20 years, you've been able to produce a wine that was a perfect score, and that's, and that's the book here that was a New York Times bestseller that you yeah. wrote, wrote. Thank you. Yes, we did. We actually now have three wines that got a perfect score, but mm -hmm. when we wrote the book, it was about this journey from uh, not knowing a whole lot about the business. We knew right. about making wine, but didn't know really about how to sell the wine, so we talk about that in the book. Okay. And then, so we're going to have a little bit of tasting. Tell us a little bit about what we have here today. So maybe we'll start with the Pinot. Sure. sure. So, um, so the first wine. This is a Pinot. Okay. It's called. It's from Sierra Mar, the vineyard. It's down by Santa Barbara in the Santa, Santa mm -hmm. Lucia Highlands. Mm -hmm. um, and this is. We make uh, tw many different Pinot Noirs, mm -hmm. and each one is very distinctive, which makes Pinot Noir, I think, a really fun grape to drink. Okay. Um, so you'll get on this nose. Um, it smells wonderful. Do you like it? That's a good start. So. <laughs> Lots of sort of cherry, red fruit, very bright fruit, and in and the body of this wine is like very dense, very full of flavor, all sort of bright red, strawberry, cherry fruit. But um, one of the critics who um, wrote about this wine calls this a really graceful wine, right. and I think that's so much what this particular wine, Sierra Mar, is all okay. about. Okay, all right. Cheers. So to that. cheers. I hope you like it. Cheers. And as and as as you guys taste this this wine, and I will as well, tell us a little bit about uh, what people should look for when they go out um, and try wine, because Valentine's mm -hmm. Day is around the corner. So, what, what would you recommend to those wine enthusiasts, and maybe even if you're not, um, for this Valentine's Day? Well, first of all, Valentine's Day is a time to have great experiences. That's actually we met, mm -hmm. uh, we went on our first date Valentine's Day mm -hmm. uh, 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. And we decided we'd be together the rest of our lives, and so far it's uh, worked out just perfectly. Wonderful. Yeah, Wonderful. And, uh, over wine. <laughs> I consider myself a very lucky man. Very good. Uh, so uh, we had uh, some great wine. It wasn't ours at that time, but five years later we started making our own. So uh, today, I, I think wine is a personal thing, and it's mm -hmm. what people enjoy. But it needs to be uh, easy and 
something that you just really love the uh, right. experience. And, right. and it's good with uh, all kinds of events. So for me, I love the fruit that comes off in a wine. So that's one of the reasons I really love Pinot Noir right. because it's got so much sort of sweet fruit in it. Mm -hmm. And we have a little bit of time left. So what about this one? So this What's, is uh, what are we? This is a here? Cabernet. This okay. is called Cour, which is very important for Valentine's Day because it's the French word for heart. Hmm. And so this is it's from the heart of Napa Valley. Right. Uh, it's a dark berry, uh, full-bodied uh, Cabernet, and, and uh, excellent wine for Valentine's Day. All right. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Cheers and to you. And now you can on every Valentine's Day you can open up a bottle of Hall wine now. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And we do. All right. Let's yeah. taste. Let's taste this one. Cheers. Very mm. nice. All right. Well, Catherine and Craig Hall, thank you so much for joining us here on Bay Sunday this morning. Thank you Pleasure. so much. Thank Great you. to have you with us.